hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video happy weekend to you all i wish you a happy weekend okay we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife please if you are if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support my god will always bless you and support you in everything that you do okay allegedly we heard that uh uh, uh, Udua have decided to speak on this matter that is on ground uh, we all know that uh, this issue of uh, the Ifa wives uh, being the reason why Kwenomi is out of the palace for a long time is beginning to be a topic of discussion as a matter of fact uh, it's, 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 it's as if it, it have gotten to a point where something must be done about it uh, first, we heard that uh, Oni of his first father was so angry at his son over the uh, over his inability to make a concrete decision on how to relocate these women and to bring Kwenomi back to the palace. Then again, we also heard that some women of Ileife have come with their ag agitations over uh, Kwenomi's absence and all that. And not just that, a lot of people have talked and said one thing or the other concerning their stay in that palace, which have been the major reason why Queen Naomi is out of the palace. But lately, allegedly, we are hearing that uh, Iyalaja have decided to speak her mind on this matter too. So according to her, she said that uh, from what they are hearing and they are seeing, that the these women as in the wives uh, the far wives according to the Oni of Ife because he keeps claiming that they are a far wives that they are not his wife it's only Queen Naomi that is his wife but they are answering his name he's the one that is knocking them he's the one that is doing everything that the husband does to a wife to them so uh from what they are saying they say that uh, so Iyala just said that uh, these women that they are not representing the palace as much as they are supposed to do. That some time ago they noticed that uh, was it Ronke and Temitope was ignoring, peacefully ignoring themselves uh, in, in an occasion outside. And most times when Oni of Ife wants to go on outing, you see them dragging who to go and who not to go. And it's becoming a very big problem in the palace that it is every now and then you keep hearing one problem or the other amongst this woman women sorry that they keep fighting themselves keep selling themselves off to bloggers that any little thing that happens in the palace uh, you start hearing it on social media because they are selling their informations trying to bring each other down that the way they are behaving that that is not the reasons why they are in that palace Iyala just said that uh, uh, she is blaming herself because she's one of the people that uh, told Oni of Ife that you need to marry many wives. And her reasons for instigating Oni to marry many wives is to help him carry out some activities and not to bring more problems to him and not to make uh, the people of Ile Ife question their uh, ability to carry out simple tasks or to maintain peace because from the look of things that they don't maintain peace in that palace any longer that all you keep hearing is this person uh, did this this person does that any little thing it will be a, a problem among them and not just that that the issue of them challenging themselves physically uh, spiritually is another topic of the day so they said this man was uh, this uh, uh, a was so so angry at the whole thing saying that something needs to be done urgently if not that uh, only is losing his sanity over the attitude of these women that they the way they behave they behave as if they are no more adults and as if they don't know that they are royalties who are expected to be a role model to others but rather they are uh, doing the opposite of what they what of what is expected of them so they said this woman was so mad that he has to, you know. They said she was, she scattered everywhere with anger. 
blaming herself because from from what we are hearing we heard that she had been the one bringing this person say only this one will be fine for you this one will be okay this one is uh, has this qualification this one is uh, mature enough you know and his her aim of doing all of that was to help only of carry out uh, his duties to represent them very well out there so that when uh, naomi will have enough time for her husband and for the family that is what she said though i don't know which one is true or not i don't know if maybe they have they bought him her off then and now she's seen what she did not expect from them i don't know now she know i don't know so like i told you all this information that we're bringing to you they are all alleged we did not hear it directly from them all uh -huh. but we keep hearing that uh, a lot of people have been speaking up on how to uh, relocate or what to do with the Ifa wife so that Queen Naomi will turn back to the palace because she has stayed out long overdue. This is the third time she's leaving the palace like this, but this time around it is getting out of hand. You know, initially, if she go out, Oni will start begging and other two people or three people will talk to her, she will return back. But in this case, uh, it's becoming so alarming. And it's all because of this uh, married. Uh, uh, all these uh, uh, far wives, as they are called, who have been a very big burden to Oni of Ife. Because every now and then they keep coming up with one problem or the other, competing among themselves, both physically and spiritually, attacking each other with words and some juju. So they said, this woman said, is either the marriage is this, marriage with them. Uh, is dissolved or they relocate the palace with immediate effect so that uh, Queen Naomi will return back to the palace and so that their, uh, their uh, husband Oni of Ife will concentrate because it seems as if he's losing concentration and if for, for uh, uh, those of people said that he's been manipulated because each time he he's serious with the issue of relocating them something will come up and uh, after everything it, it will look as if he has forgotten about his decision. So lately we have been hearing that uh, there have been uh, proper arrangements for Queen Naomi to leave the palace. We heard about dissolving his marriage with uh, uh, Mariam. We also heard about relocating them. But none of this is happening. I don't know if it is true or it's just a mere gossip. I don't know. So whichever it is, my own is that if there's anything they have to do to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace, that is where... Uh, 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 that is the only thing I want. Yes, I want the two to come back together in love and peacefully. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think she's going to take action, or she she's just uh, saying out her mind? And after everything, it, it will be a business as usual. So, whatever you think, please do well to share it on the comment section. Don't forget that all these things they are all alleged. Uh -huh. They are not for stand information, no. Mm -hmm. If you, have, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. See you guys soon. Bye for now. Love you guys.